Hello and welcome to Mineric U, training in 60 seconds. Since this series is about multi-axis control, I'll continue to address the interaction between motors, drives, and centralized controllers. The simplest control is on or off. This is common for motors that will only run at fixed speeds. For AC induction motors, discrete outputs can energize the coil of a contactor, which then passes full power to the motor. DC motors will require a DC drive to furnish their power, but it can also be triggered with discrete outputs. If either AC or DC drives are used, acceleration, desired speed, and deceleration values are typically managed on board the drives, so rotation can be started and stopped, but active control is limited. If higher level of control is needed, usually for varying speed, controllers can actively command drives with variable signals. Most AC or DC drives can follow either analog voltage or current. Industry standards are 0 to 10 volts DC or 4 to 20 milliamps. Solid state controllers can synthesize analog using varying PWM waveforms, but this technique is limited to drives rated to accept it. That does it for this training minute. Thanks for watching.